What's up guys, it's Joe here with J Blake Photo and I'm here with another video to talk about another maybe new camera from Canon that we might be getting before the end of the summer that might be cheaper than the EOS RP but still be a mirrorless full frame in the family of the EOS R, the EOS RS, uh, the EOS RP, and the rumored EOS R Mark II. Now before we jump into the video today, I wanna to say hi uh, to the almost 1,000 new subscribers that I have gotten in the last week. Welcome to the channel. Also a shout out to the folks who've been pushing my Instagram. Not as many as 1,000 over there, but still great to see that people are enjoying and appreciating the work that I'm doing. Thank you so much. Hitting that like button helps me, it helps the channel, and it helps YouTube know that you like content like this and things like this are the kinds of videos that you wanna see. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. And if you like videos like this where we talk about cameras and leaks and rumors and photography and cinematography and drones and GoPros and technology, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell so that you know when I make new videos. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go and check me out over there. I am at jblake.photo. Go ahead and follow me there. I've been posting photos of my recent uh, photo shoots. And very soon, next week actually, uh, I'm gonna be heading to Maui. And I'm super excited about the shots that I'm gonna be getting there. In fact, my uh, my office is a complete disaster. You know, I got, I got Ronin batteries and drones and I go, I got all the, all the gear is just everywhere right now because uh, I'm trying to get it all packed and charged and figure out what I'm taking and um, you know that's that's just as stressful as planning the trip itself is figuring out how much gear you're gonna take. Okay but with all of that out of the way let's get chatting about this new camera. Now my last video on the topic which got 50,000 views uh, in one week which is officially my most popular video on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't seen it go ahead and check out the links above where I talked about the EOS RS and the EOS R Mark II that we should be seeing between now and the beginning of the summer. In that video I talked about the specs that we should be getting for those cameras but I thought that it would be helpful just to do a very quick recap so I'm going to put one minute on the board and let's see if we can't get it done in that short period of time. All right so we have the EOS RS which is our high megapixel mirrorless body full frame 75 to 80 megapixels. Uh, we're looking at slow maybe five to six frames per second similar to the EOS R which I'm shooting on right now. Similar ISO performance Digic 8 or Digic 9 chip in there but it will be primarily Primarily an EOS R with a higher megapixel sensor. It will also be rocking dual card slots. Okay, the EOS R Mark II will be a 36 ish megapixel camera with up to 12 FPS, dual card slots, potentially both CF Express, and it will be shooting 4K uncropped in addition to having an improved sensor with improved dynamic range and ISO probably up to about 51,200. Oh, hope I got it in under that one minute time. Now the EOS RP, uh, which is a camera that's already been released and is in the wild, is a full frame camera with a 26.2 megapixel sensor borrowed from the Canon 6D Mark II, which is a camera I used to have, and I really liked that sensor. It was a great sensor. It has the Digic 8 processor, ISO up to 40,000, shoots five frames per second. But of course the downsides to the EOS RP, although it is a really a great little full frame camera, doesn't have the same kind of dynamic range that you would get out of some of the other sensors that Canon offers. And on the video side of things, while it does shoot 4K, in 4K it only shoots up to 24 frames per second, no 30 or 60. And the dual pixel AF that Canon is known for is not available uh, in 4K. You're, you're gonna have to rely on contrast autofocus, which is just not as good. Right now I'm shooting with eye autofocus right now. So the autofocus point is right here on my eyeball. Uh, and that would not be available in 4K on the EOS RP. It also shoots in IPB, which is a more heavily compressed format, although it will shoot at 120 megabits per second, which is pretty decent. Okay, so now let's talk about this uh, rumored camera, the EOS RM. Uh, which is supposedly coming out probably either in May or a little bit later on in the summer, but definitely before the fall. Uh, and I want to talk about two things. Number one, the what, and number two, the why. 
what do we think we're going to get from Canon? Um, I think this is going to be a new sensor. I don't think they're going to be reusing the 26.2 megapixel sensor that we currently have in the EOS RP. I think this is going to be a new sensor somewhere between 18 and 24 megapixels, definitely not higher than what is currently available. I think the dynamic range and the ISO capability, the low light capability on this sensor will be no different uh, than the EOS RP. I think we're talking up to 40,000 on ISO. We might be seeing something like three to four frames per second in all shooting modes for um, autofocus. And you'll probably see reduced focus points while the uh, EOS RP has something like 4,700 and the EOS R has over 5,000. Um, I think you're actually gonna end up having maybe three to 4,000 total autofocus points with really probably maybe two to 250 available um, through the viewfinder. Maybe a slightly lower resolution screen on the back, maybe a slightly lower resolution EVF, or they might do similar what they did to the M line and make the EVF something that you have to buy separately uh, as an accessory that you have to attach. And that may be a part of how they're reducing the cost here. On the video side of things, I don't think we're gonna see, again, anything better. I think we're gonna be seeing a max 24 frames per second in 4K, nothing new there. Still IPB uh, and probably still 120 uh, megabits per second on the bitrate. And it'll probably be coming in at, you know, 799, maybe $849. Uh, and I think that's gonna be a super cool option for people just getting into photography and videography who are looking for the quality of a full frame sensor. Um, and they want to start out with a, a lighter weight, smaller, more inexpensive camera. So now that gets to the why. Uh, they need to get a lower cost. They need to be able to get a lower cost body into the hands of consumers. If you look at the number one cameras that have been purchased in the last 10 years, a lot of them are Canon cameras and a lot of them are the Rebel range cameras, your $300 to $700 range. They need to get cameras down in that line that are in the R family. And the reason for that is because of all the RF lenses. None of the RF lenses that have come out thus far have been uh, crop sensor compatible because they don't have a crop sensor mirrorless. And I don't think this one's gonna be crop sensor either, but they will be coming out with a pancake 50 millimeter lens. It'll probably be pretty inexpensive. And we've got a 35 millimeter uh, lens already available uh, that is more on the budget side. So I think as they add more lenses and people start investing in the higher end lenses, they need less expensive cameras for people to get into the system with, but still be able to adapt existing EF lenses and EFS lenses as they go forward and as they use Canon cameras. It's a way to get them to adopt the Canon system, I think. Um, that's just my opinion. But I think that this is a great entry into the market. I think this will be very interesting. I'm excited to see what it looks like and what we get. I'm really excited to hear that Canon's gonna be coming out with now four cameras uh, in 2020, at least in the first half of 2020. We've got the 1DX Mark III that's gonna be coming out in February. Also in February, up to May, we're gonna be getting the EOS RS and then the EOS R Mark II, and now this EOS RM. So very excited, and I don't think it's a surprise that this thing is being rumored to be called the EOS RM because it's gonna borrow a lot from the M line. And I think a lot of people have been saying, where's our, you know, where's our EOS M with a RF mount? And I think, I think this is gonna be it. Uh, at least I hope so. So let me know if you think so down in the comments. I'm just reading the tea leaves here, trying to do my best to figure out what's coming, but I love talking about this stuff. So I hope you do too. If you do, go ahead and leave a like on the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And again, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram uh, over at jblakephoto. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.